and the oath is to preserve freedom. Those that have raised their hand to serve, have done more for their country than most folks ever will, and I respect that. And one of the most interesting parts of the oath is at the end, the last four words, so help me God. I remember looking outside the window. I could see that the buildings had went ahead and collapsed, plumes of smoke just rising. And I'm like, this is not happening. This is not real. 9-11 put a pause and put a reality on what we were about to go do. I knew that the entire course of my career was going to change. The mission of a lifetime becomes a reality. And I have the pressure on my shoulders thinking, if any of these guys die, it's my fault. We have an epidemic on our hands. It needs immediate action. Every 65 minutes, we lose one American hero. Not fighting an outward enemy downrange, but a vicious inward one. Our men and women protect the freedoms of this great nation. And now, too many are losing hope and taking their own lives. When you come back, guys are struggling with a sense of purpose. They're saying, I did all this, and now, now what do I do? I'm lost. And all of our guys and gals who've seen combat, they're looking for a solution, and they're looking for hope, and they're looking for purpose. Remember, this is America, the land of the free because of the brave. This nation was founded on the solid principle in God we trust, and that is the solution. What God wants you to do is to surrender, to surrender your life. It's not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength. Thank you.